Perhaps if you've heard of the golden snail, some call it apple or pomacea canalicata. During the high times of 20th century development, the snail was imported from Argentina to Taiwan as a potential food production project. They called it the golden treasure snail, but nobody would eat it. In Southeast Asia, the golden snail threatens wetland ecologies. Native snails dwindle everywhere. It consumes the young rice. A poster child of progress again became a dangerous pest. I came to this place alone, uprooted and hungry. I had lost my sense of direction. The rain infused me. The river tugged at me. I had no house to rest and no kin to feed me. They called me Lonely spirit, wandering ghost. My kind, we're not just with you, we are many. We rise with the rice, but we are also the weed. We are the rasp on the tongue of the snail, and we are the hand of the farmer that removes it from its feast. I'm still hungry. Feed me. It's a hot day here, yet, I feel cold air on my neck. Maybe it's sweat, but I think it's the ghosts. My village has a long history, and when I say long, I mean really, really long. long. Your land was once a section of the Okinawa trough, slumbering at the bottom of the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. Excuse me. The Nanyang Plain emerged through the gradual deposition of sediment over many years. From this muddy beginning, your land has always been mercurial. Has, mercurial. Has, been mercurial. has always been mercurial, yes blessed with an ever-changing landscape. An archaeologist once told me that the sand dune upon which people lived and collected shellfish 4,200 4, years, years ago, ago do you mind, is already five miles away from the sea. And today's hills and valleys, they only emerged 2,000 2, years, years ago. Would you please? We settled here because we found it good. Even the new farmers learn to offer us incense. In fire and smoke, they make ready for us the things we use, our clothes, our fine materials, our cash. From us, they learn propriety, lest we disrupt their harvests. Don't toss your tools around. Old people tell the new set, worrying that they will disturb us goats. Don't use coarse words of the paddy they advise. They say a good farmer checks on the paddy every day. But who but we are there to notice whether or not they do. When the season comes, Golden snails, they invade our work, our jokes, and even our dreams. From community kitchen, to social media, or random conversation while checking on water levels in the fields, snails multiply in every encounter. From Kentit, the awakening of the insects, to Lip He, the beginning of summer, we continuously ask, how shall we save rice seedlings from the ferocious appetite of those snails? As for me, I predate these communities. I am local, but I exceed local dreams. They ask for permission to live in this place, and yes, we give it to them, but they fully never know us. <laughs> 